What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reefing. Come back at you with another video and today it's the nine month update on the 200 gallon Innovate Marine EXT. Let's see how good it's doing. All right, so I took the criticism to heart last time on my six month update because everyone said, hey Mike, it's like just a blue tank. What is going on? And I swear when I was filming it, it didn't look like that. Now, what I kind of think happened was I'm filming it at one times or one X zoom. So just standard. I did like a wide angle shot so I could get more stuff in the frame and it just did not work. And I think something happened with the pixels when I compressed it. So um, I think this should be better. So give me a like, give me a comment and don't forget to subscribe because I am so close to 1K subscribers. Hopefully in the next week or two, I will get 1K subscribers. I keep hovering at like 997, 996. So hopefully by the time this goes up, one or two or three of you guys are gonna wanna subscribe. But here is the tank in all of its glory. It is doing really, really well. Now, I did finally, I know, the same bed, you can kind of tell, I siphoned it and I've tried to hit this like around the edge with that flipper max and i don't know man i'm just not really a fan of the old flipper max either i don't know what it is but it's just not really getting all the edges for me like these two i really have to go hard to do it and i am battling some hair algae so what i've done is i've kind of reduced um my use of ab plus because i've been using uh, the Red Sea AB Plus and Coral Foods, or the Reef Chili. So I've been cutting back on the Reef Chili and the AB Plus, and I've been feeding them just a little bit less. I increased my skimmer. I put my refugium on for an extra hour, and I'm uh, changing out the filter floss and socks um, about a day earlier than what I normally was. So with that being said, I was probably around like 25 uh, ppm for nitrates. And yeah, I mean, 25 isn't bad, but I'm surprised that the tangs are not eating this hair algae up. So you can kind of see, yes, ample hair algae. Wherever there aren't coral, there is some hair algae on the rocks. Nothing crazy, it's just like in this one area. I'm not quite sure why, but you know, I thought my um, fire fin or tamini tang or my um, purple tang would go to town on I me. Mean, you can kind of see he's picking out the sand and stuff where there might be some hair algae there, but I guess he's not liking the long strands of hair algae. So I've, uh, whenever I've done a water change, um, if I'm not siphoning out the sand bed now, I am you know, picking up uh, some of the hair algae off the rocks with a siphon. No big deal on that. As far as dosing, I've actually had to increase my dosing. I think the last time I updated you guys, it was either 30 or 35 milliliters on the 1.1 milliliter a BRS doser a day for the two part for alk and calcium. Now my alkalinity, I just tested it today and it was 7.3. So I've, I upped it initially to 40 mils a day and now it's 45 mils a day and I did a 100 milliliter adjustment to it um, in order to bump up the alkalinity a little bit. And my calcium's around 440. I'd really like my alk to be eight, 8.5. Anywhere between eight to nine, I'm happy. But right now it's a little low for my liking. And hopefully with this adjustment and everything, it should work out. Now I do like using my um, calc uh, dripper. Let's get to the calc dripper. My cheap little DIY calc dripper. So usually if my alk and calcium is low, um, what I'll do is I'll bump up the levels. So I'll go, so now my Alk and calcium are 45 milliliters a day, but in order to kind of adjust a little bit, I use the calc dripper and just kind of drip it into the sump there. No big deal. Got my ATO that's still nice. I like it. Um, this is the Innovative Marine um, Hydrofill, like that whole ATO container reservoir. It's a 15 gallon one and it does well. I mean, it probably, you know, does a week's worth. Yeah, my evaporation is not too bad for the tank about a week's worth of uh, you know water that it holds so I'm pretty happy with it so we'll do the wide angle for the sump so you can kind of see the skimmer I just cleaned it out today that Octopus Regal 200 INT is pulling out tons of gunk I still do the little um, coating of uh, 
oil, like um, canola oil on the inside or vegetable oil on the inside. Um, that way it kind of, the skimming kind of hits the top of the lid and then it kind of just falls down the side. I do it around the outside, not in the inside neck because then you know, none of it's gonna be bubbling up and over. Now you can kind of see that I have um, these acrylic panels. I was gonna do a video on it, but I kind of just don't care anymore. It's too, too simple to do. But if you wanna know, I got this polycarbonate and just kind of put it on top there with that cheapo um, LED light. And I have a little, oh, don't fall. There's like a little hamster ball. Now you can see it in the back. There's a hamster ball there because initially when I got the Chato, um, I kind of just threw it in there and it kind of went everywhere in the sump and it wasn't really contained well, which caused it to kind of just not grow and kind of get caught everywhere. So I kind of isolated it a little bit more, but it's not growing very fast or well. I'm not quite sure why. But if you guys know, let me know. I might have to throw some Chato Grow because it might be low in iron. And then this is my little filter floss that I throw and put it in my little Cool Whip containers. Yes, I know. I am a Cool Whip fanboy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Everyone has their thing. I, well, it's not really me. I just like the containers. My father-in-law puts like Cool Whip in every coffee that he drinks in the morning. So instead of pitching it in the landfill, I'm like, eh, let's just use it for something else. I'm still loving my Octopulse, so I moved them both to the left side because I was just getting so much turnover in the middle. You can kind of see how there's like this big swell, or I guess where it pushed all the sand out of the middle and to the sides. So there's like no sand there, so I had to move it back when I was changing out, uh, siphoning the sand beds. But I mean, I like these guys, but I think they're just too narrow of flow for me. I mean, they're narrow medium, they're not super duper narrow concentrate, but they're not really wide and dispersed. Um, in order to get the flow that I want in the tank, um, I really think I might go and get the gyres, like uh, the max spec gyres and do the XF 350s and have one on each side of the tank. So I'll have one on the left side, one on the right side of the tank. And then they'll just kind of have like a gyre flow going this way and one going this way and then they'll kind of compete and go back and forth like this. That's what I want to do. And I still want to keep those uh, octopulses because I have this, I initially had them kind of angled directly over the LPS or the SPS and they were doing amazing. Like so the pop extension on that um, Walt Disney is just awesome. And it's finally getting more of the yellow. My light intensity, I need to do a PAR test, the LFS, you know, I'm gonna do a video on it, but he's gotta get his stupid Apogee back so I can do the testing. But I mean, it's loving it. All these SPS on this are loving that direct flow. And I know over here, they're not as happy anymore because they don't have that direct flow coming from another Octopulse on the side. And the only thing that I see concerning is, in this entire tank, besides the hair algae, is on that Scripps. You can kind of see, got some STN right there. Now I'm probably gonna break that off. I don't know, it's just isolated to one branch and I don't know what could have done it. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm running carbon and stuff. It happened after um, a flatworm exit that I did. I mean, I don't know. Could it be that? Maybe. Could it be a combination of that with something else that I don't know and didn't catch in the tank? It could be. But nothing else is doing poorly in the tank and my scripts never really is the first one to show warning signs. It's usually like the LPS, I just don't get as fluffy and then I kind of notice it. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how the tank's doing. <laughs> the fish just love to host that. Uh, frog spawn, it's awesome. Toxic green, it's beautiful. You can see that's a toxic green uh, frog spawn in front of it. It's just a tiny, a green with like blue tip and it's just so vivid that toxic green and you got my hammer garden down here which is doing pretty well the cans are doing well Duncan is just gorgeous I need to figure out what to do with the Tyree uh, green toadstool because it is just getting kind of smashed in there I don't know can you see it from that angle yeah it's kind of getting smashed in there 
The Digi Island is doing really well. Loving my Digis. The Micro Musa, or the Micro Musa Merletis. Bust Musa Merletis? Yeah, they're kind of getting some hair algae on them. No big deal. Sunkissed, doing well. Oh, Zoas. I'm thinking about putting the Zoas on here to kind of combat the hair algae problem, but then the problem is I don't want them to crawl up and get any of my SPS because that's probably what's going to happen. But other than that, I'm really happy with the corals and how they're doing. Sneak peek at the Mandarin and my Molly. That's like the canary in the coal mine. The Mandarin's doing awesome. Still not eating frozen food yet and it's been like three weeks. What the heck? I don't know. I've tried everything. I'm going to give it another week or two and if not, I'm just going to put them in the tank. And then I had a shrimp in here, a skunk cleaner shrimp, and I have no idea where this guy went. Like, no idea. I'm like, there's no way a mandarin ate him or this little, like, seriously, there, there's absolutely no way a molly ate a shrimp. I have no idea where he went. I literally did a water change and changed out all the water, couldn't find him, he's not in the back compartments. I have no idea. By the way, I was using that breeder box. It didn't really work, it stressed out him out too much. Oh man, this tank's really blue, but this is where all the, um, all the QT is, but I do have a couple that I've kind of thrown in here for frags that were, you know, little pieces that I pulled off. But so far, it's looking pretty good. The frags are doing well. No flatworms are in here. I'm probably gonna move these to the main display hmm, probably next week, because they've been in here for, ah, uh, don't quote me, I'd have to look at my, uh, my like my chart but i'm pretty sure they've been in here for about uh five to six weeks now maybe six to seven weeks i'm absolutely loving my little zoa rock it's really beautiful hopefully you know i'm probably gonna pull some of the zoas off and start fragging them because i know how they kind of get where they kind of overrun everything you just have one zoa but so far it's looking great on this little zoa rock all right guys so that's all i got for you this time if you haven't done so, please, please, please give me a like, give me a comment, and most of all, give me a subscribe if you haven't. 80% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, and it would really go a long way. It takes you no time at all. Just hit that subscribe button. I'm getting better at my content. I have more things to show, more builds to do in the future. Hopefully, as soon as I get stuff out of quarantine, um, I can add some more fish, then do another quarantine, and then add another tank, hopefully. If you're listening to this, hopefully my wife isn't, but uh, <laughs> sorry, babe, I love you. Um, I might do a Pico tank in the future once I crack 1K subs, maybe 1.1K subs. I might start a Pico tank, a four gallon. But I always have something that I wanna do, always a new challenge, always something you wanna tweak with the tank. But I'm pretty happy with it so far, so good. I'm loving my purchase. Um, I might do a future video on the top five things I love about this tank and the top five things I hate about this tank. If you guys want to see that, comment below and let me know. And as always, I will see you later.